Who would have thought turning a couple of wooden blocks into quirky little characters would do anything for anyone? But it has. A couple of young artists came up with the idea to help raise money for a very serious issue, the life expectancy gap between Indigenous and non-Indigenous Australians. Here's Catherine with the story of the Shaffers. Shaffers. There's Tammy who went to the hairdresser and asked for something with a spark, but they thought she said National Park. Freckles who was near a witch's house of treats when it exploded, permanently embedding a giant freckle on his head. Pierre the Trojan warrior who slept in and missed his horse. Beardy McBiddington, Robert Foley and champion racer Vito Schifani. Hannibal's war elephant invaded northern Italy, but that's just one of the terrible things he's done. You got a friend in me. These bizarre creatures and their crazy stories have been created by artists across the globe. It was Sam and his buddy Chris who came up with the idea. But what on earth for? Well, it all began with Chris making a present for Sam out of random bits he found at home. But the pair kept making their little characters and eventually the Shaffer was born. It's basically a few little bits that you can get at Bunnings shoved together, <laughs> but they... um. Oh, I pulled the first one off the bottom of a couch, I think, or something like that, but so it was just miscellaneous pieces. They decided to invite other artists to join them in creating a Shaffer exhibition. <laughs> Word of mouth grew and artists from around the world began submitting their designs, although not all the Shaffers made it back to Australia. One couldn't make it back through because of customs from the States. It looked like a bomb. It looked like a bomb. <laughs> tonight, tonight, let's live it all. Then the big night arrived and the little guys were sold off. The idea of the exhibition was to raise money which went to the Close the Gap campaign. Now, the Close the Gap campaign was launched in 2007 by Olympic champions Kathy Freeman and Ian Thorpe with the aim of achieving Indigenous health equality within 25 years. You see, there's a big gap. Non-Indigenous Australians live about 17 years less than most of us. They have a much higher rate of preventable illnesses like heart disease and diabetes. And twice as many Indigenous Australian babies die before their second birthday compared with other Australian babies. Sam and Chris chose this cause because they wanted to support a problem in our own backyard. Yeah, you got a friend in me. And preparation is now underway for Shaffer 2. Hopefully this time as well we can get some more Indigenous artists as well and sort of strengthen those links. These bizarre blank objects have been making their way across the globe as far and wide as the United States, London, Brazil and Turkey. Designers, illustrators, toy makers, woodworkers and even journalists are being given free reign to add, subtract, paint or destroy these objects and in their own way contribute to the growing Shaffer universe. Ah!